Once upon a time, there was a girl who had a dream. She longed to reign over each pond, lake, and stream. She said, every last river and the deep blue sea, all of it one day will belong to me. They'll all call me Lizzie, the ocean queen. And when I'm in power, I'll live in a tower, in a palace of prismarine. And true to her word, she got in her boat and bravely sailed away. But no empire, let alone one that floats, could ever be built in a day. Made an island of lily pads. How'd that look? Pretty bad. Got a parrot, my first loyal subject. I might have slightly killed it. Axolotl, royal guards. Trained him up to fight real hard. And I dreamt of my own future palace. But first I had to build it from Farm. How'd that go? Worked the charm. Found people to work in the market. They may have been abducted. Swapped fish that I'd caught for some emeralds, then for quartz. And I planned out my own future palace, which soon would be constructed from pre. Blocks, cobblestone and moss and rocks To make myself a sturdy base Then came the tower and spiral staircase Robbed a reef of all its coral How'd that feel? Kind of immoral To build a dome Then add to that an axolotl habitat It has problems to speak the truth Spawning mobs and a leaky roof A strawberry and Lady Marceline in my palace of Prismarine. 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 Just across the pond grew a kingdom like no other And the ocean queen would learn that the ruler was her brother Jimmy the codfather had a plan to make a dime By having a monopoly on all the server's slime In the Grimlands lived Whip, an explosives engineer Who mostly cares for salmon, the only fish he holds dear A rivalry between the two had caused a great divide to condone cod or support salmon, one must now decide. Come gather round, I'll tell you a tale of action, deception, anger, and betrayal. This was the moment when the cod war began. Everybody's calling it the great salmon scam. Someone had meddled with my royal gods. Whip made a trip, left a calling card a stranger swam by he was probably a spy so i put him in a bucket and i quarantined the guy it's the perfect plan the great 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 salmon scam i had a knife whip and line my pockets too i would make a trade i needed rock 
rocket fuel. He wanted some salmon, so I went and caught a ton. Traveled to his home, and so a deal could be done. I showed him my home. He said that it sufficed. He gave me the fuel. They make the wings go fly, fly. Then we flew off and put the salmon in a lake. Little did he know that he had made a big mistake. It's the perfect plan. The great, great, great salmon scam. All on track, so I went to see him in his empty shack. Led him to the lake, then he said, Stop the hunt! Let my axolotls loose so they could have some lunch. Whip got revenge, a final act of malice. Flying monstrosities all around my palace. A trail of ebon salmon from the scene of the crime. The cogwall may continue for a long, long time. An imperfect plan, the not so great. Alas, the Cod War was not the only conflict to be seen. More trouble was brewing that involved the Ocean Queen. Deep inside the jungle, the Lost Empire lies. Ruled by Joey, a chaotic and most mischievous guy. Meanwhile, in Mythland, Lord Sausage formed a guild where customers could pay to have their rivals killed. This is the tale of how these rulers' paths crossed when the queen found that one of her ocean kin was lost. Isn't this an awful piece of news to start the day? I heard that Joey took my axolotl far away And while in flight that evil thief did tumble off the tower But still he took my baby boy, my darling little flower So I left my empire and I took a jungle trek I found his central temple and I stormed right up the steps Angered by his insolence and driven to a rage I stole the tiger blood prince and I put him in a cage I spotted Joey spying so I put him to the test Let us meet at sundown in the desert to the west Nobody gets hurt and we still both get our own way, he said. If you try any funny business, there'll be hell to pay. I went to visit Sausage in his empire to the south. A place where many enter, but few ever make it out. He laughed and he said, Welcome to the Assassin's Guild. I informed him of the standoff and I said, Have Joey killed. Sausage the assassin shot us both stone dead He said he double-crossed me then he tossed me Joey's head We both got what we wanted and we got what we deserved in our selfishness, we both forgot to self-preserve And so a double murder somehow brought us back together And now our pair of empires can live in peace forever Right? The Ocean Queen would focus on her enemies no longer She started forming plans to make her empire stronger An alliance with Mazalia the scotched and bone-dry mesa may bring the heir of royal birth that one day would replace her. And luckily, King Joel had developed quite a crush. The thought of the queen next door was enough to make him blush. So one day, King Joel sailed up to her land to invite her on a boat ride, then ask to take her hand.
You could say it's a date No, that's a boat A cause to celebrate A thing that keeps us afloat I've just always felt so close to you You live next door, so I suppose that's true In Japan they call it koi Isn't that a type of fish? Italians say amore That's a type of eel I guess what I mean is that I wanted to say I can't express how good you make me feel This could be love Real, real love Real, real, real Real, real, real love Let's make our kingdom stronger Make weapons, go to war? Just stand right on this spot here Sure, but what's it for? Here's a proposal I just need the ring I'm incredibly confused Why is it raining scaffolding? You've stolen my heart How much health have you got? My love runs deeper than the ocean So a few dozen blocks I'm saying there's an awful lot of fish in the sea But there's always only been one for me This could be love Real, real love Real, real, real Real, real, real love Lizzie, will you marry me? Yes! In order for the Ocean Queen's marriage to be true, she had to gather four things old, new, borrowed and blue. She needed help to find them for her wedding day parade and so the future bride went to visit all her bridesmaids. Fruit, rare and gold, enchanted to boot With pearl the gilded farmer by my side After hours on our sandy quest Killing creepers and searching chests Pearl said, um, Lizzie, I've had one the whole time When our skills are combined There is nothing we can't find Next I needed item two and so in hope of something new I went to visit Jam at Crystal Cliffs The trip was over in a hurry I've lots of something new, don't you worry She gave to me a shard of amethyst When our paths are aligned There is nothing we can't find I'll treat them with care it's the moment for a fanfare For I'll marry my Mazalian fiancé Something old, something new Something borrowed, something blue All to wear upon my wedding day Two now down, the third soon followed This time it was something borrowed Toast, for I'll marry my Mazalian fiancé Something old, something new Something borrowed, something blue Something old, something new
On the wedding day, all came bearing gifts, including matching tridents bestowed by Pixel Riffs. The Pixandrian nomad known as the Copper King, who wandered round the world trading just about anything. But one uninvited guest had descended on the church to cast infernal darkness from upon his lofty perch. Zornoth was a demon, hell-bent on destruction, intent on cloaking kingdoms with his blood-red corruptions. So now we must part from our tale of romance to follow the pace of a diabolical dance. I'm the vision from all your nightmares. I'm the source of all your screams. I torture and I paralyze. I crush all of your dreams. I'm the baddest around, I assure you. The destroyer of your world. So you think you can escape me? Think again, my little girl. It takes two to tango, so let me count you in. You're on your feet, so dance along. Come join my world of sin. You treat me with indignation, but the truth is so thinly veiled. The might I possess, it's a mercy. The greed in you prevails. The power you've always dreamt of It could be yours one day You swear it won't consume you Think again, my protege It takes two to tango So let me count you in You know the steps of dance so long Come join my world of sin I am a compulsion You're spellbound by my smile Give up control to me now I'll possess you for a while You lust for domination I torment you and you fawn You think you want the truth now Think again my little pawn it takes two to tango, so let me count you in. You hear the beat, so dance along. Come join my world of sin. I seep into each recess, devour each shred of hope. I linger for eternity. You bind me, I cut the rope. I've got tendrils in this planet Drive me back, I'll reappear You think you can contain me? Think again, my brother dear It takes two to tango So let me count you in It's in your blood, so that's so long Come join my world Meanwhile, the Ocean Queen made two discoveries. The first was an ancient tome containing many prophecies. An airborne to the a ocean great empire, empire shall the be resolution of a never-ending feud brings unimaginable chaos that will destroy the world. The second tome told the legend of the Ocean Orb, which the Queen vowed to find and add to her treasure hoard. Her ally from House Blossom then provided her some intel. The orb's current owner was Scott of Rivendell. The elf had ventured far from his empire of snow and stumbled upon the queen in her underwater grotto. Feast your eyes as I share my glorious wares. The precious antiques, they're exquisitely rare. And magical insects, some ancient bamboo. A dish of deliciously devilish stew Make up your mind, what fabulous find will it be? I don't suppose you have any glorious fitwares? I've got a fishing rod and a chanted book An iron ingot and a tripwire hook A handcrafted stick and a powerful bow A dinosaur bone and a tail
tasty potato. Make up your mind, what fabulous find will it be? I've got a deal with destiny, a bargain with fate. This business is bound to profit me as long as that fool takes the bait. I mean, that's all very nice, it's all very well, but I've got those things at Rivendell. I'm hoping for something a little bit new. Those boots over there look like they could do. I've made up my mind, that fabulous find is for me. They're just old leather, but one man's trash is another man's treasure. They're yours. I actually meant the shinier pair. Would they be something you're willing to spare? You know I like diamonds, you know I love gold, and teal just suits me, or so I've been told. I've made up my mind, that fabulous find is for me. I've got a deal with destiny, a bargain with fate. This business is bound to profit me as long as that fool takes the bait. That sounds fair, but what about me? I'm a generous soul, but I don't give for free. Rivendell has such a lot in its coffers. Surely there's something of worth you can offer. Um, of course, I've got the oldest wood from the tallest pine, the toughest stone from the deepest mine, the purest snow from the highest peak, the softest wool from the fluffiest sheep. Make up your mind, what fabulous find will it be? How about that robe? Not a chance. How about the owls? Absolutely not. That thing looks interesting. What thing? That thing in your hand. You've been holding it this whole time. Oh, this piece of jai mean valuable treasure. Yes, that's what I want. So, do we have a deal? Deal. I've got a deal got a with deal destiny, with a bargain destiny. with fate. This business is bound to profit me Now that this fool's made a deal with destiny A bargain with fate This business is bound to profit me Now that this fool took the bait The orb began to glow a strange and airy hue. Then the queen grew gills and fins, and then her skin turned blue. She'd found the orb and got her wish, but how was she to know it would turn her to a fish? I've got to deal with destiny. I've bargained with fate. This business is bound to the prophecy Am I the fool? Have I just made a mistake? Over in the mesa, Joel was sitting by his dock When something from the water came and gave him quite a shock The heiress of the ocean flicked her tail with a swish And asked him, would you still love me if I was a fish? While the queen explained the situation to her lover, the other rulers united to take on Scott's demon brother. A plan was hatched by six of them to bring him down for good, while Zornoth, none the wiser, terrorized the neighbor. Pockets in my hand and I'm feeling right. Ten girls on the land and it's in my sight. World domination soon to be mine. No cooperation, well that's fine. It means I'm a more for Big Daddy Zorn, so that's what they call me. Official oh, Zorny, pour me out some liquor. Fill it to the brim, blood's getting thicker. Sipping as I sin. You're gonna see more of your old friends your of. Young man, I'll never return to the boredom I was born of. Scott's in the land. 
library getting kind of wise. Says he's got a plan for Zorzor's demise. Zorny doesn't care though, says he isn't scared. So read a book, try your luck. Zorny really doesn't give a f- For your information, I have got an education. Scott showed up to my graduation. First in high school, then demon college. Where do you think I got all of this demon knowledge? Demon university, top of every class. You think you can catch me a little bit of glass? Okay, you caught me embellishing my law. I don't need exaggeration, I'm the champion of XOR. You're gonna see more of your old friends, your of your land. I'll never return to the boredom I was born of. <laughs> Look what they're doing now, right now to spell. The demon from the east is going back to hell. Got a list of things that'll make Zork cower. They've got the smart sand, they've got more power. If you want parallels on us, go so I pack more punch than a sword of shock. I've got more action than Die Hard 2 And your little faction's a Try Hard crew You're gonna see more of <laughs> Trap him in a cell and keep him off the street Your old friends you're off Listen to him yell, they're taming the beast You'll learn, I'll soon return Charm like Halliwell, never be released And then this world will yeah. burn Heading back to Rivendell, cooking up a feast so Zarnoth had been crystallized and finally subdued. Scott hosted a banquet with good cheer and gourmet food. There was cake, meat and pickles, a mysterious stew. But then a big announcement caused disorder to ensue. Fwip had forged a crown to rule them all for a time. Whoever wore it could make the others fall into line. The trouble was every ruler thought they deserved to have it and in a show of force, took a step forward to grab it. So the feast turned to chaos, it was carnage, and against all the odds. Jimmy was coronated, made an order to build a lake for a cod. As a loyal sibling, I set off to grant his wish. Looking for abandoned and neglected little fish The crown Jimmy wears the crown Jimmy wears the crown After that Scott took over, stopped us flying, said we should take a stroll. But his reign didn't last long, he was thwarted by my husband, King Joel. Everyone must wear his skull so we all look alike. If we don't obey him, then he says we'll have to die. The crown. While all the other rulers were still fighting for control, the Ocean Queen reflected on her own global role. She decided that she'd share the Ocean Empire's rich traditions while charging all her visitors a fee for their admission. Hop in, give a small donation First stop is a Mazalian campsite Where King Joel's journey commenced No camping is not for everyone Cause it's really intense Welcome to my ocean tour We'll sail across the sea for sure Watch with all Surveillance I've already 
Lucy's charmers Took his uniform home to polish Had a night in shining armor Then one of our bolder attractions Totally natural, I didn't plan it These rocks, they're all pure diorite Some take them for granted of bossing others around, so he devised a game show to give away his crown. He forced them to compete in a series of tests to see who among them would prove to be the best. The Ocean Queen won and became the new master, which might have ended up being a recipe for disaster. But actually, her new law was really quite sweet. It required milk, sugar, eggs, and wheat. with Pearl and Catherine Then I stabbed them in the back And with my foes defeated The crown was mine to take So I looked upon my subjects And I laughed And I said Let them eat cake Let them eat cake. Let them eat cake. tragic loss of my crown. We will forever remember the light and joy that it brought to the Ocean Empire before it was so cruelly snatched away by Joey. Oh, and also, it seems that a number of villagers have mysteriously, at no fault of mine, passed away. Rest in peace. 
But on the bright side, I'm pleased to announce that my time as crown ruler was a huge success, resulting in a 5,000% increase in cake consumption. Ocean's blessings to all those who support me for the Empire's sake, and to those who dare cross me, I have four words. Let them eat cake. With the crown, Joey called for all the others to bring a gift of a horse. So that he could transform them, make an army made of raptors, of course. Then he made a treasure hunt to see who else would reign. Shrub one and told everyone to find five wolves to tame the crown. Shrub now as the crown. Shrub now as the crown. She gave it to Catherine, who decreed that we take a flower to grow. And she hosted a contest, Quip cheated, took the crown for his own. Said that we should build a road to reach another land. Little did we know that this would be the last command. The crown. snatched the crown from Catherine's cold dead hands, the heavens opened up and washed over the lands. The queen realized there was just one thing this could be, the unlikely fulfillment of another prophecy, which meant that if every prediction came true, it would spell the end for her and all the empires too. The resolution of a never-ending feud brings unimaginable chaos that will destroy the world. But a book is just a book, not an existential threat. So she went about her day and tried her best not to fret. King Joel placed the last block of his Mesa Mega Palace. The Ocean Queen stopped by to admire his building prowess. It's all coming together. This work of art is meant to last forever. Crystal Cliffs Academy was to welcome its first student. The Ocean Queen thought magic training could be rather prudent. It's all coming together. This newfound craft is meant to last forever. Seen conclusion to the never-ending feud Was the mightiest kaboom of the greatest magnitude A moment or two later All that stood there was a giant crater Grimlands was in ruins, debris fell in crystal cliffs 
House Blossom, it was split in half by many massive rifts. The end of the lost empire, the undergrowth was all consumed by fire. The crops had blazed, the swamps were raised, and then the blood she prayed. The crystal cracks on up came back, and then the ocean drained. We're all falling together, forgotten and forsaken now forever. Pix has long been missing, Mazalia is fractured. All is lost. I think this is the rapture. How quickly chaos can descend. The prophecies came true in the end. The ocean's gone, and so is my power. All that remains is a lonely tower. As the waters wash away, I fall apart, my mind decays. The rapture broke my sacred connection. In time, I'll lose all recollection. I'm writing this down before it's too late. My memories are fading, I'll soon meet my fate. I may forget, but don't you dare. Always remember the ocean's air.